let's continue having fun with absolute value inequalities. What would you do here? Get up and leave? Yep, that's what a lot of people do too. <laughs> Move the six over. So what do we have? The absolute value of x plus 17 is greater than what? So this is no solution, right? I thought absolute values couldn't be negative. I'm pretty sure. A lot of you, yeah. Hmm. Absolute value. It's oh, it's no solution, right? Hold on, though. Wait, wait, just a second. Absolute value is absolute value. This is distance, right? How would you describe absolute value? How do you always describe it? If someone says, "What is absolute value?" How do you respond? It's the distance. That's how you used to always respond. Distance from zero. You used to always say what? The actual number. The real number. Oh my gosh. You guys don't. You guys. It's always positive, right? Isn't this guy always positive? So is that greater than negative five? Yeah. When? It's positive. Always, right? Isn't it always greater than negative five? So what should the answer be here? It should be all real numbers. Do you want to verify that? Now you're just going to trust me? You're going to trust me on YouTube? Of course you are. All, however many followers. I know you. I know some of you. You quit on me and you drop out. But I guess the videos aren't exciting enough for you. Now since this is greater than, is this a, is this a mother hen or is this an angry mama? I missed that part. I want your distance to be greater. That means I want you to get away from me. It's an angry mama. And your mama's coming at you. She doesn't even let you get a chance to pick your own switch. You, she got one already picked out for you. You better run, son. <laughs> so the word we have in the middle here is R. You know, like, where, where is it? It's R there. So when I fit... You guys don't understand me. You don't understand the way I talk. Now see, it's going to be greater than negative 5. What's the other one going to be? Remember how we do this? We change the inequality direction. Then we change this guy. We get, we get, we, we get 5. Okay. Hey, that's no problem. We're just going to solve this now. How are we going to solve this guy? I'll give, I'll give you a hint. X is greater than what? Seriously, guys, you just got to move it 17 over. It's negative 22 or what? Move that 17 to the other side. And what does the word or mean? Do you guys remember that? Or means what? You said it. You just said it. We said, yes, yeah, you said it's, it's, it's a union. Union. So it's a, well, the word union means you just put everything together, right? Right. I don't just tell me sure. You know I'm right. <laughs> so I've got, let's see, make sure you understand your order here. It's negative 22, negative 12. I want to be greater than negative 22. And I want to be less than negative 12. Since I'm putting all this together, what have I just done? <laughs> what? I put all this together, what have I done? What do I got colored on the number line? Everything, all real numbers. I got it. So it is all real numbers. That means I'm going to put that fancy little thing you guys told me. What did you guys tell me? Oh. That fun looking R. If you had to do in, 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 that notation, what would you write? Negative infinity to infinity. And that's it. Because the absolute value uh, is always positive, right? Mm -hmm. No matter what number you plug in here, it's going to be positive. And any positive number is larger than a negative so number. 
Right. You can't equal a negative, but you know what? You can be greater than a negative. <laughs> you are greater than a negative. You're so special. Okay, I said you're special, and then I get, I'm so rude. It's like I'm, like I'm back at home. You're the meanest daddy I've ever had. <laughs> like, how many daddies have you had? And I have to call my wife, like, oh, babe, we, we, we got to talk about this. <laughs> <coughs> the absolute value of 4x is less than or equal to negative 8. I thought that was 14x plus times 1. Yeah. It is not the torse X. Absoluto value. <laughs> incorrect way of learning Spanish, putting an O at the end of every word. <laughs> Just like the incorrect way of learning French is to sound snooty at the end. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> I speak French. Oh, oh. No, you don't. You just said, I speak French in a horrible French accent. Now, this absolute value, what do you know about absolute value? <coughs> Seriously, we're going to go through this again. How do you describe absolute value to somebody? Is it this, uh, no solution because of the negative 8 and the equal sign? This guy's always positive, right? What is a positive number less than or equal to a negative number? Never. 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 No solution. This cannot happen. You can't do it. And you know what? Let me, let me go back to something that Jesse were mentioning earlier about making that three-part inequality. Since this guy is less than or equal to, let's see what that three-part inequality looks like. The three-part inequality for this guy would be 4x is less than or equal to negative 8 but greater than or equal to positive 8. From the get-go, this is, this is a contradiction because 8 is not less than negative 8, is it? So that doesn't make sense. And if you separate this and you say 8 is less than or equal to 4x, and because that's what we have here with that less than or equal to, 4x is less than or equal to negative 8. That means that 2 is less than or equal to x, and x is less than or equal to negative 2. Do you all agree? <coughs> well, we've got a problem with this. Because when you try to graph this, here's negative 2 and here's positive 2. Less than or equal to negative 2 is closed out to the left. x is greater than or equal to positive 2 is closed and out to the right. What does the word and mean? Intersection. Intersection. Where do these guys intersect? They don't. they don't intersect. No solution. <laughs>